In 2022, the Pituitary Network Association celebrates 30 years of serving patients, helping them learn about pituitary disorders, get a timely diagnosis, connect with the right specialist, and thrive. PNA helps patients by educating them. A lot of them can come to our website, read about the disorders, and almost self-diagnose, but then we've got the physicians to back it up that they can go see and get a proper diagnosis. It all started in 1992 when founder Robert Knudsen launched the Acromegaly Network Association, which became the Pituitary Tumor Network Association and then the PNA. Bob, who suffers from acromegaly, lived with the disease for 40 years before getting a diagnosis. After surgery, he realized patients had virtually nowhere to turn for information about pituitary disease. To say it consumed me is about the right right expression. It was a much bigger problem than I had realized. And it was like, this is a lot more important than anything else I've ever done. So he left his real estate career and teamed up with endocrinologist Dr. Shireen Izat and started organizing patient support groups. Bob was tenacious enough to persist. And he said, this is not good enough. This is not fair. We gotta do something about it. Bob was really a trailblazer in those days. Like he really set a standard. Rosemary was the one person who believed in Bob and supported him. Bob was told by many individuals in the medical community and in industry that patients had no role in something of this nature, that it wasn't needed and that it had no chance of succeeding. Bob launched Network Magazine, which later became the Highlights Newsletter that now goes out to 10,000 readers a month. The goal was to shorten patients' time to diagnosis. You know, we have patients that have gone to eight doctors, 10 doctors, um, before getting a proper diagnosis. Now we have the resources that they can get diagnosed earlier. 30 years ago, people were really struggling to find specialists because there were very few specialized centers. And as you know now, one of, one of the big things that the PNA has helped put forward is this concept of pituitary centers of excellence. Bob began speaking at medical conferences in the U.S. and abroad. It was highly unusual for patients to attend medical and scientific meetings. And yet Bob Knudsen was there and in everybody's face reminding us why we are there and what we are trying to accomplish, really focusing on the patients. Then the PNA began to organize patient meetings alongside medical conferences. For me, the most important thing we did early on is that was putting on programs for patients. And we did that regularly for years. If Bob wants something from you, you're likely to deliver it, uh, just because he's he's very demanding, but for good cause, you know? So when demanding is for a good cause, it's hard to say no to that. The conferences, including one at the National Institutes of Health in 2004, emphasized the emotional aspect of pituitary disease. You literally save people's families from splitting apart after a while, because if you have one person in that family, who is not well, it can destroy their family relationship. The PNA has been impactful in getting patients to network together so that they were not so alone and had others to compare notes with. In 1995, the PNA gathered research from the greatest minds in pituitary medicine and published the Pituitary Patient Resource Guide, which reassured people who've been shuffled from doctor to doctor for years that in fact the problem is all in your head has prevented so many lives from being destroyed as a result of not knowing what the problem was. The resource guide has been reprinted in many languages and is now being prepped for an eighth edition. Education of physicians has been a uh, major aspect of the PNA and really where the PNA has succeeded and, and still a lot of work to do. PNA has put themselves on the map as the who's who of neuroendocrine medicine. Perhaps the PNA's biggest impact comes from the launch of the website, pituitary.org. An astonishing moment for me was the foresight and the insight that Bob had to claim the address on the web at a time when everybody didn't just go to the web. The website has a huge presence and we average about 64,000 visits a month. So 
It's not slowing down. It's only picking up. Bob once appeared on the Today Show alongside acromegalic Tanya Angus to promote awareness. Ken Baker, a pituitary patient and entertainment executive, wrote a book about his pituitary journey and turned it into a movie. I don't know if that would have ever happened if it weren't for the PNA, because I was able to make some really informed, educated decisions that really impacted in a positive way my health that led me to writing, to be able to write a book about getting healthy, that which led to a movie being made, which led to millions of people being exposed to what a pituitary tumor is who maybe wouldn't have before, and it's because the PNA. Celebrities like Paris Hilton helped promote PNA slogans like sex is a nine letter word, and Olympic figure skater Scott Hamilton spoke at PNA's premier patient conference in Palm Springs and helped the PNA get a huge grant to launch the website. I want to wish the Pituitary Network Association a happy 30th anniversary, serving patients in a really unique and powerful way. I can say my 13-year-old son, Max, wouldn't be here if it weren't for you and the advice that I got to um, draw myself up a little bit. I'm so impressed by the work you do. The PNA regularly hosts webinars that connect patients and experts directly. We're able to learn more from our patients and listen to them and act on things that are really making a difference for them. The PNA has been blessed to work with many talented staffers over the years who advocate for patients as they struggle and triumph. So when they call and you're able to help them. It just makes you feel like you're paying it forward. The work that has gone into this, you would think a full staff of 100 people were doing it, but we know it's not that way. Patients will tell you the PNA has changed their lives forever. I was diagnosed with a macroadenoma when I was 12 years old. It was a very isolating experience, and through the PNA, I was able to meet my best friend and clinicians and the real sense of community. I'm very excited about the future with all the new technologies and with the great people here at the PNA, the future is very bright. Here's to 30 more years from the PNA.